to Honey Pop. The first one, not the second one. Hi there. Wow, okay. Could I get you to maybe take it down a notch? I'm right here. <laughs> well, you're talking to one now, champ. Didn't, didn't, <laughs> My name is Q. Nice yes. to meet you. Oh, thanks. No, that's great. I have a weird name. Look, dude. Are you gonna be alright? Looks like you're having some trouble holding it together over there. What do I mean? I mean, I can literally see you sweating through your shirt. Uh, what? I can see how uncomfortable you are right now from space. Hmm, wait. You know what? This might actually work. What will? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, this is your lucky day, buddy. Listen, uh, I gotta go, but we'll meet again real soon. Trust me. Night! Uh, that was... What? That was weird. Hey, you. Rise and shine. We've got work to do. I said get up. Oh, I'm having the best dream. I bet you were. Don't you recognize what? this adorable face? <laughs> it's Kiyu from the bar. Clever disguise, right? I can change my hair any color I want. It's pretty sweet. If you can't tell by now, I'm a fairy. Well, a love fairy to be exact. Okay, but fairies aren't actually. Good question. I'm glad you asked. You see, as a love fairy, it's my job to help poor saps like you out with the ladies. It's just mm, what I do. I don't like to brag, but I'll have you know I have a very impressive track record. All of my previous clients are basically walking bay magnets now. You, though. <clears throat> Let's just say you will be my greatest accomplishment yet. Yeah. <gasps> it's fine. Just go with it. It's going to be great. <laughs> we need to get great. started right away. Tell me. How many dates have you been on? Oh my god. <laughs> it's a fine date. I thought, isn't it? Alright, grab your shit. We're going on a date right now. Someone has to show you the ropes. I know Good a place way. nearby that's open pretty late. You'll love it. Or not, I don't care. Alright, I'll try to make this quick. This is the date grid. These little pieces are called tokens. You earn affection by matching three or more of the circular tokens horizontally or vertically. For a successful date, you have to fill the affection meter before you run out of moves. Go ahead, give it a shot. Match those orange ones with the crescent shape in the middle of the grid. Okay. See? Easy! Each of okay. the four types of affection tokens represents a particular trait. The orange ones represent romance, blue is talent, green is flirtation, and red is sexuality. Pay attention to which trait your date prefers. It'll go a long way. Of course, matching four or five tokens will get you even more affection. I'll show you. Match those four sexuality tokens in the bottom right of the grid, the red ones. Sweet. Okay. Okay, what's next? Oh, right. Let me cover the other token types real quick. The pink hearts are passion tokens. Matching those will raise your date's passion level. The higher her passion level is, the more affection you'll earn. The gold bells are joy tokens. You'll get an extra move by matching those. Very useful. The broken heart tokens are bad news. Seriously, avoid matching those as best you can. 
Finally, the teardrops are sentiment tokens. Matching those gives you, well, sentiment. Okay, you need so. sentiment in order to use date gifts. And seeing as how you don't have any date gifts, I'm guessing I need to explain that too. Uh -huh. Here. Like I said, you'll need sentiment to use it. So go ahead and match those three sentiment tokens in the leftmost column, the teardrops. Okay, now go ahead and give that date gift to me. Okay, cool, seems huh? fair enough. There are like a ton of different date gifts that you can get too. They each have a unique effect on the date and can be extremely useful in combination. Oh, <laughs> and thanks to a little fairy magic, you'll never actually lose them. So you can use them. Alright, alright, I've gone on long enough. I'll let you finish up the date so you can get the hang of it. Oh, and... Okay, so far. So good. Do I see? Uh huh. Oh, almost. Oh, one left. Nice. See, I knew you had it in you. Oh, shit. It's morning already? We are way behind schedule. Okay, check it out. I have one last thing to give you, and this is important. Okay. Introducing the latest in Love Fairy technology, the Honeybee 4.0. The Honeybee is an essential lifeline for any player on the go. It automatically registers the info of new girls you meet and can even track their location. You can organize Sounds your inventory, creepy. buy new gifts, upgrade your traits. It's awesome. We don't have okay, time to go over every feature, but you're a big boy. You can figure it out. To access the Honeybee, all you have to do is right click at pretty much any time. Or if you're weird, you can use that button at the top of the screen. Go ahead, break that bad boy open. Okay, great. I think that's it for now. Let's get out there and talk to some broads. I said. 
<laughs> Let's go talk to some broads. Yeah. That's what I like to hear. Now, if you want to meet a hot chick, you gotta go where the hot chicks are. I've done some scouting and I have a few ideas of where to start. It depends what type of girls you're into. We can check out the university, the mall, the gym, the park, or the nearby cafe. What'll it be? Let's do... Good choice, Rookie. Couldn't have picked it better myself. Alright, ready? Get your game face on. Have you had a chance to grade our exams yet? Uh, remind me what that was on again? You know, the conservation of whatever you call it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think those are on my desk. Somewhere. Oh, okay. Do you know when you might be able to get them back to us? Later. Next week, probably. I'm sure you did fine, Tiffany. You think? I hope so. I don't know, I was having trouble with some of the material. Do you know what we're going over next week? I'd like to try and get a head start this time. Next week? I don't know yet. Actually, I have a pounding headache right now. Can we do this later, please? Yeah, okay. Sorry to bother you, Miss Yumi. No, it's fine. I'll talk to you later. It's fine, hey? Whoa, is this chick serious? That schoolgirl uniform is a little on the nose, don't you think? She's cute, though. Blonde, too, so, uh, bonus points. Oh, yeah, don't worry. They can't see or hear me. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Plot twist! <laughs> nah, I'm crazy real. I just hid myself from everyone so I can give you advice on the sidelines. This is your classic girl-next-door situation. She's nice, so don't say anything to scare her off. But don't be afraid to take a chance. Sure do. Soon I know this in. place inside and out. You go past the building here and take a left at the fountain. You can't miss it. I haven't seen you around here before. Are you starting this semester? Of course. This place is awesome. My professors are the best. If I end up going to have Yeah, I'd love that. It's sure. really a beautiful campus, too. My name is Tiffany, by the way. It's nice to meet you. You seem like a cool guy. Hopefully, I'll see you around campus. No. Wait! You did it! Well, with my help, of course. I gotta admit, I did not expect you to pull that off. Beginner's luck. Don't let it go to your head. By the way, that other chick that was here just a second ago, since she was in range, the honeybee started tracking her location too. So after you're done here with this girl, you can go catch up with her too. Just bust out the honeybee and check out the girl finder screen. I'm pumped. You pumped? Yeah, you're pumped. Go get them. I'll be around if you need me. <laughs> <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you need me. No, I don't. You're just what? annoying. Let's start, start there. I'm really glad you asked me out this morning. Oh, yeah! Awesome! Okay, so far so good. Oh, hmm. Uh, I think those right there are important. Uh, 
Nope. 